Alrighty guys, welcome back and let's just go ahead and get started because I'm going to be teaching you guys, well, a couple different things. The first thing is a quick and easy way to assign a value to multiple variables at once. Doesn't sound that exciting, but it is going to save you a whole bunch of time in programming. So let's just go ahead and make a couple stupid variables, int a, int b, int c, and of course, whenever we want to assign a single value to all of these variables, I don't know, maybe we're making a game and every player start, starts out with the same amount of points or these are be like a bunch of monsters with the same amount of health or something. What we can do is, of course, do it the old fashioned way. A equals 100, B equals one. Oh my gosh, it's taking too long. So we know that we can do it that way, but the way that I wanted to show you is this. What you can do is I'll just type it out and then you're probably going to understand just by looking at it. So what this is going to do is it's pretty much just going to read it from right to left. So what your computer sees is this. Take the value of 100 and assign it to C. So now C equals 100. So whenever you do this, take the value of C, which is 100, and assign it to B. B equals 100. Take the value of B, which is 100, and assign it to A. So now all of your variables, A, B, and C, equal 100. Don't believe me? You shouldn't, because I lie a lot. But anyways, I'll prove this one to you. So let's just go ahead and put, uh, I'll just print out the, won't do anything fancy here, percent D, and A, B, C, good to go. So let me print this out and check it out. 100, 100, 100. So again, I know that uh, this, it isn't really like handy right now, but later on you're gonna see when we have a ton of variables that we need to create for programs, we can do all in one line of code in, instead of like 50 lines. So let me go ahead and delete this stuff right now. And let's actually put this to use and let me, I don't know, I'll make like a quick program that can calculate the average ages or something. So say that we had like three people and we wanted to calculate their average age. So we can put float age one, age two, age three, compact that. Now we also need a float for average and might as well stick that up there too. So all of our variables are fine on one line. Now, of course, let's go ahead and um, we'll just go ahead. How can we do this? Okay, so the first person and the second person will say have the same age. So age one and age two, we'll set them both equal to uh, four, four years old. So maybe this is like my kindergarten class. So boy A and girl B are both four years old. And then let's go ahead and get the age of the user make this thing interactive a little bit and we'll just say enter your age bust that on a new line and of course we need to give them a way to actually enter their age if we're asking them for it so again what they're gonna enter is, is stored in a float it's actually gonna be stored in this age 3 so percent F and remember also that whenever you use a variable that's not an array then you need to use that little ampersand and we're going to store whatever value they entered in age three so now we have all the data that we need we only need to make one other calculation and that's average and of course we know how to figure out averages age one plus age two plus age three and take that entire equation and throw it over three and that's going to give you the average age and now we just got to print out the result on the screen so we'll say and we actually probably want to put this on a new line as well um, that average age of the group is percent F and of course percent F is average so let's go ahead and run this bad boy and check it out nothing is happening because my computer is freaking slow but eventually it says enter your age so how old was I in kindergarten I think I was um 
uh, 42 and hit enter and it says the average age of the group is 16.666 okay I'm old I freaking get it well basically you know my age guys that's not even important don't worry about it what I want to teach you is how we can pretty much compact our code make it a lot neater and save ourselves a whole lot of typing so that's how you do it cool little program to figure out your average age and uh, well thank you guys for watching I'll see you later